Television. Could I speak to that fellow what does that This Is Your Life programme? <laughs> eh? The liver salts fella. <laughs> eh? Andrews. <laughs> eh, my man, is that, is that you, Mr Andrews? This is the concert chairman at the Wheel Tappers and Shunters Social Club. Affiliated. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm ringing up to help you out. <laughs> eh? No, well, I've been watching your programme the last few weeks and you seem to be running out of people. <coughs> to do, yes. No, I'm not, being, I'm not being rude, Mr Andrews, no, but it's got to the stage now where nobody's surprised that you keep it a secret who's on. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> no, no, I, I've been watching your programme. I can remember your programme when people used to watch it all the way through. <laughs> eh? No, I thought, I thought it might be a good idea if you had our Bernard on it. <laughs> eh? He's a comedian. No, no, he's not 70, no. No, no, he's never been on the panel of new faces, no. He knows Freddie Truman, though. I thought that would make him ideal. And he's got lots of friends who he hasn't seen for 35 years and couldn't care less about. <laughs> No, he hasn't actually got any relations living in Australia, but his Auntie Mabel says she'll fly out for the weekend so you can bring her back. <laughs> eh? Oh, oh I'm, so I'm sorry, Mr Andrews, I, I didn't know about that. I, I am sorry. Yes, I I'll tell him, I'll tell him. Bernard, he says he was going to have you on his programme, but he couldn't do, he had to cancel it because he heard that you were very shy and hadn't got much to say for yourself. Oh. <laughs> That's probably it. Tell him I'd like to give him a pint of hot, Andrew, stick him on university channels and say, here's your starter for ten. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the past is the past and the future is the future and we've got to get on with the show and it's like my very great pleasure to leave you in the company of one of the uh, country's greatest trios, really fantastic, uh, had a million hit records, they, they really have. It's a lovely pleasure to see them here at the Wheel Tappers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you greet and say hello to the Carl Denver Trio? <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
week. He's asked me to announce that if anybody finds it, will they please ring 0635138 and shout like bloody mad. <laughs> Thank you. We have a young man that you've known and admired for many, many years. <coughs> I've known this lad and I, I've known him for many, many years. A really wonderful, wonderful person. When Neville Chamberlain came back from Germany with that piece of paper, <laughs> And he said, peace in our time, it was all on for peace. <laughs> but this next act was working at a variety club in Berlin. Adolf Hitler heard him and declared war the next day. <laughs> a voice from the past, known as a stand-up comic, now known as a stand-around comic, George Roper. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that bloody bag now, I'll tell you. <laughs> Just found this in the dustbin at the back. It's your old gag. Never bro. mind, Bernard. <laughs> we got a soft spot for you. Yeah, no, it's a, a swamp, swamp at the back of our garden. garden. <laughs> You keep your hat on, there's a woodpecker in the club. <laughs> he visited our house last week. He comes to our house, regular Colin, you know, comes to our house, but we have to take the dog in. Because <laughs> no, the last time he picked him up and buried him in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bernard Manning's a great mate, you know, he's, he doesn't wear elastic in his underwear, Swiss rail. <laughs> <laughs> and when they clean the mazy tunnel out, they pull him through. <laughs> He's just had a marvellous week in Belfast as a roadblock. <laughs> I don't know. I went to his club last week and the bloke said to me, you're new here. I said, how do you know? He said, you just put your drink down. <laughs> <laughs> Two women talking together in Bernie's club once said, Mary, I want to commit suicide. What's the best way? She said, shoot yourself two inches below the left bust. She shot her kneecap off. She's a big girl, she was a big girl. <laughs> you don't mind holding this because it's no bloody good now. <laughs> he wants it, you look at his nothing in the bloody thing. <laughs> it's not very interesting anyway. <laughs> Fella thumbing the lift from Manchester to Liverpool in a thick with fog and he's walking along the East Lancashire Road in his welly. <laughs> and a car comes out the mist and there's nobody, there's nobody, nobody driving his car. And he opens the back door, sits in the back seat of this car, and it moves off towards Liverpool on its own. Can you imagine it? No driver. They stop just outside Liverpool, and this little fella's getting out. And there's a great big fella getting in. He said, don't get in that car, that kid. There's something wrong with it. And the big fella said, no, I've just pushed the bloody thing from Manson. <laughs> Give him a chance, please. He's doing his best. <laughs> Stop laughing at him. Thank you, Cat Weasel. 
Wat? Ja. Wat is hier te zien? One Irish fellow went into a shop, he said, I want some nails. I do, yes, I do. The lady said, how long do you want them? He said, I want to keep them. <laughs> fellow went to a transport cafe, he said, I want seven cups of tea in a flask. Two without sugar. <laughs> this man and wife were laying in bed fast asleep, and she's dreaming she's with another fella. And while she's dreaming about this other fella, she wakes up from the dream, shouting, quick, it's my husband. Quick, it's my husband! And her husband jumped out of bed and threw himself out the window. <laughs> They're very easy audience here at the wheel tappers, aren't they? Aren't yeah, they yeah. wonderful, aren't they? Why do you think we boot you? Yeah. <laughs> we could have got a comic with a show. Your place is closed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's a case, isn't he? Big, fat, ugly looking. Where are you going to get two comics for the price of one? <laughs> <laughs> he went on a speaking machine, knowing his way machines to speak to you. And the machine said, one at a time, please. <laughs> what about you when you walk down the road, all the way machines jump in the door? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do, Bernard. Shall we? I, I, we, we I'd love you to come along and. And do a little song with me, would you Just mind? Just to show we're still pals, George. Yeah, of come course, on. certainly. Ah, then nice. <laughs> Tomorrow, maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but we travel alone, sharing a soul side by side. Through all kinds of weather, weather we fall just as long as we're together. It doesn't matter at all oh. when they've all had the troubles in our end. We'll be the same as we started. We travel along, singing a song side by side, side by I think you will agree that that is the biggest group we have ever had at this club. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the high spot of the evening at the Wheel Tappers, we leave you in the very capable hands of an international singing group, the Platters. <laughs>
Thank you. I'd like to introduce you to a gentleman now that's been very instrumental with the platters. He wrote such songs as Only You, Twilight Time, The Great Pretender, a gentleman called Mr. Buck Ram sitting over here to my right. Mr. Buck Ram. Thank you. Now we'd like all of you to join us now and put your hands together with a very beautiful song that goes something like this.
Thank you, please, and room. Your committee are most concerned about the increased postal charges. So to save money, we're not posting your membership cards to you this year. All membership cards will have to be collected personally from the club secretary. We're writing to every member to tell them about this. <laughs> Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just at this moment, it was supposed to happen. You know what was supposed to happen. But just to show there's not a great loss and a dead loss, I fetched my mother out tonight, and she sat in the audience there. <laughs> Mrs. Manning. <laughs> Hi, darling. All right. Thank you very much. I had a bottle of champagne there for you, Mum. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, I'll tell you a few clean stories, cos my mother's in the audience. Not... <laughs> this is not a place of entertainment. <laughs> in view of the fact that postage stamps are going to cost more, we've had a meeting of the committee, and we've passed a resolution that tomorrow morning we should buy 10,000 stamps. <laughs> this is so that when they do go up, we'll be able to post our letters cheaper than anybody else. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and members of the Wheel Tappers, it's my very great pleasure now to present to you one of the best acts in Clubland, without any doubt, Ronnie Jukes and Ricky Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like tonight <laughs> Just a minute, dear Just a moment <laughs> And we'd like to introduce ourselves, if we may because they always get us mixed up. I'm Ronnie Jukes, and this is my wife, Ricky Lee. Isn't it? <laughs> and this is her mother-in-law, but she's not like other mother-in-laws. <laughs> she's an angel. <laughs> and the sooner, the better. <laughs> and just because she is my mother-in-law, and just because she is stone deaf. <laughs> deaf. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm singing now. <laughs> And just because she did give up a good job, modelling, oven gloves, to come and play for me. <laughs> All these jokes that I corrected the mother-in-law are only jokes. Because off stage, I love every hair on her lip. <laughs> oh, sorry. Now... I don't want you to think that we've come here just to bore you with jokes. Like... There was this fella <laughs> went into this greengrocer's shop and he said to the greengrocer, I want half a lettuce. <laughs> he said, I'm Terry Ter. <laughs> we don't tell half lettuce. <laughs> Full lettuce, yeah. <laughs> Half lettuce, no. He said, you sell half a cucumber, don't you? <laughs> oh, it did, yet. He said, you sell half a melon, don't you? <laughs> oh, it did, yet. He said, well, I want half a lettuce. And it had better be quick. <laughs> oh, it did, a tea. <laughs> well, this is not my establishment. I shall have to nip round the counter and tea the governor. So he nips round the counter to see the governor. 
but unfortunately, the big fella is following him. And he's right behind him, as he says to the governor, Bruce. <laughs> There's a bloody big animal out here. <laughs> He's the ugliest thing you've ever seen on two legs. He got one of them. And he got one of them and a zip on his face. And he's asking me for half a lettuce. And he turns round and he saw this big fella. And he said, and this gentleman wants to buy the other half. <laughs> Should have seen me before I went on the diet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to go off the stage now for a while. <laughs> Not to change my suit or anything, but I get bloody fed up after a bit. <laughs> so if it's all right with you, I'd like to introduce you to my dragon, to the missus. <laughs> and she'd like to sing a song here for you. And we sincerely hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to sing a song now, if I may. It's from the musical Jesus Christ Superstar. It's a story of Mary Magdalena.
She doesn't know anymore. <laughs> Not my kind of music anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a swinging audience tonight. In fact, you've been so good, you've made me feel like a 16-year-old. <laughs> I don't suppose I'll get one, but... <laughs> at this point... Because pop scene, you see, that's my scene, pop music. I love pop music. I know them all. The suede and the sleet and the, and the who. And Mod the Hoople, Deep Purple, Gene Autry, Al Bowley, I know them all. And she's been a river in a day, you know. <laughs> Used to be a groupie. <laughs> Used to follow the groups around. Oh, uh, what's your face light up here? <laughs> Sid Millward and the Nitwits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like pop music. Do you like pop music? Do you like pop? Yeah. Give me a. I sing the gadang 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 gadang. Yeah, boys. 